Welcome back. White Cane Week getting underway this Sunday, February 5th to 11th in Kamloops. We are joined now by Linda Hall and Laura Campsall. Laura is sitting next to me, Linda on the end. Uh, you guys are both members of the White Cane Club. Thank you for being here today. Thank you very much, Linda. Thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, making us know a little bit about this because we talk to you guys about this every year. What is your message this year in terms of uh, White Cane Week? Linda? Um, just that we get to educate more people about our vision loss and how to deal with it. And so, Linda, for you, you were born uh, not completely blind, but you were born as a preemie, and yeah. so that affected your vision right off the top, and then you lost complete vision in your 20s, is yep. that right? Yep. And for you, Laura? <laughs> I used to be able to break horses and stuff like that. Yes. And then after I had my youngest, two weeks after I had her, I had the brain aneurysm. And that's where my vision went. My uh, peripheral vision is kind of gone. I can still get around, but getting around is a little hard sometimes. Will you lose more sight, or is that it? That right now, that's it. That's good. Yeah. So you can't. Can you drive? No, they took my license. Yeah. <laughs> it was hard to hand in. I bet it was. But I mean, I had to. But I've done it. Yeah. Good Still for keep you. Going. Yeah, absolutely. You have to. Uh, a, a statistic that is fairly disturbing is that 50,000 people every year in Canada lose their sight. I mean, that is monumental sounding to me. It's sad. Very yeah. sad. Yeah, it is. So, I mean, they, they have um, the white cane reportedly originated in England okay. with a photographer mm -hmm. who had had an accident and he became blind. And when he couldn't find his cane in the dark, that's why he painted it white. And that's how it all originated. So that's something very good for us that we have now. And, um, was, and now we have in Canada, the first week of February has been observed as the White Cane Week mm -hmm. since 1946. What is there anything going on locally uh, that you want people to know about? We're having a luncheon on February the, the 9th, but... Um, Yesterday was the deadline for tickets, so okay. we're a little late for bringing That's it okay. on. But um, we have 50 people coming to it, and there's door prizes and a guest speaker by the name of Ken Gray. So, so he'll be letting us know when he's visually impaired too. So he'll discuss some of the trials he's gone through and how techn technology helps. Mm -hmm. Would you say that our city in Kamloops is a fairly sensitive city to people with visual challenges? Would you like to see more done? Yeah. I think our city's done quite a bit for us, mm -hmm. but there's always more that can be done. Mm -hmm. What what for you? Like, you can't drive anymore, mm -hmm. uh, but what if there's something that you could w would like to see improved around town, what would it be? Everybody, you know, all people to understand the way we are, accept us and understand how it all works for us. Right. I mean... I walked around with a cane. I've had people look at me, they just kind of take a look like, give me a strange look. But it's just they don't understand that. Some people don't know it. Right. And we want people to be aware of what it goes on, how it goes. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Awareness is key, and that's what the week is all about. Yeah. Yes. Well, I thank you, the both of you, for being here today to share us with a, a little bit more about that. Uh, information on the screen, if you would like to learn more, uh, the deadline for the luncheon is too late, but you can always be in touch. Uh, White Cane Week taking place February 5th through 11th. Laura and Linda, thank you for being here. Thank you very much. All right. We'll be back in 90 seconds. Stay with us.